Hello guys, this is your musical wolf and today I'm going to review with you the preamp pulse. It's a iron heart or IRT pulse from Lenny Amplifier Company. So um, this one is really I, li I like it. It has a lot of positive things and some I would say I would say some, some negative feedbacks, but I really see it. it's a good piece for musicians, especially who love the tube sound. So uh, inside the box, actually there is not much. I was afraid to open it. <laughs> I just wanted to show it to you. So, yeah, you will get this thing. It has some stickers. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Lenny and like some Chinese stuff. Anyway, this is not important. You just I want you to show the box. So, yeah. And then I think this is the preamp. It's really small one. And it's like... 400 gram or maybe around yeah 400 yeah and it has small bag with Lenny on it and that's it it's really fit inside and it comes with a power adapter power adapter also fit inside so don't worry yeah so <coughs> let's talk about this guy and then I will play but first let's explain the features and then you will make you the hit sound so this one is one channel and uh, it has two preamp tubes EC83 or if you are from the States, you will say it has two valve, 12 AX7, something like that, yeah. And um, it has an input, 6.35 millimeter jack, quarter inch. And it has a reamp function, we'll go through it later. And uh, from the other side, it has uh, output connected like to your uh, another amplifier power amp pedal or directly to your uh, sound card which is the one I will use in the demo so I will take output from this one directly to the, my sound card to the computer and I'm recording from the computer camera so it's very simple it has a headphones with a volume for the headphone and uh, this one is for uh, controlling through foot switch the foot switch is not come with it so this one is 175 euro foot switch is around 25 so it will be like 200 euro the foot switch is only on and off for the whole thing and it's not on and off power it's just like bypass so it will be still working but just bypass the signal so uh, the LEDs will still light it on so you know what the, the settings your preamp is on it if you use it for example on stage or something so you know the settings when you go back to it you know if you need to change something before it yeah so let's go back first let's connect the power It's a 12 volt DC. Yeah, so <coughs> so it has a three LEDs from under. It's nice, and there is one here for the preamp function. But let's switch it off, and it has some from inside. It's really if the room is dark here, you will see like a, a red hot point here. Yeah, and um, let's go step by step. So it has two knobs actually, one for gain and one for volume. That's it. Uh, equalizer is very simple it's one bottom like pull equalizer on or off if it's off so it's like all of the three on uh, 12 o'clock and if it's on the treble and bass getting a little bit high and the mid getting a little low so i would say the mid will be around like 11 or 10 o'clock and the treble and mid around two o'clock something like that yeah and then it has an emulation so it's basically adding a power amp and the cabin and the mic in front of the cabin and get you the sound how it should be with if you use this preamp in front of um, amplifier and the cabin with a mic so i have no data for which cabin model they use or which mic they use or which power amp they use but i will just say it's enough when you press this one you can record from it and this is what we're going to use today to listen so i will not use any uh, uh, power amplifier or cabin I will just like keep it on keep this one on record so it's ready to be recorded in your software or your DAO and to hear the guitar and then here you have uh, and here up sorry let's go for this one first this is a bypass so this n means now it's bi bypass is active it means this one is not exist on my circuit anymore so and uh, if it's off it means now i'm using this one on my pedal board for example and then you have the hot which is like distortion you have the bright and you have the dark so i will say 
yeah adding a bright and dark effect in your sound so the it's really clear when you play is like the dark is really has a big effect in this one the bright is not that much but like in clean tone yes but if you press hot which is like you have a distortion so the bright is not that much of effect but the dark yes and uh yeah so i will put this one 12 o'clock and let's see when i connect my guitar how the sound will be so i will use in this video my lovely guitar it's a sterling by music man Zoom Petrucci signature uh, GP7 so I love to to try the seven uh, strings and then so this really will show how good is the product if it can shag in seven strings so it's really good one so yeah so suppose now we have the clean signal I close the gain on my or the amp on my sound card so there's no effect from it at all so let's increase okay i'll try to show it and i'll just so let's see if it's important so this is the volume now we are in nine o'clock let's go up by the gain it's a nine o'clock also Clock, which is number six here. So let's go back to five. Yeah, so so volume more. So I will say yeah. Gain at twelve o'clock. And the volume is around three o'clock. This is a maximum you can get in your clean tone when you have equalizer and emulation on. Let's switch off the equalizer and see. one so first okay so let's try the dark one first it's easier to to use it so i'll keep playing just open strings Ok, 
Okay, now let's go to maximum gain. Let's increase the volume to the maximum. Let's see. maximum hot mode and equalizer on emulation on <laughs> So here is what I found, oh, this is my opinion, uh, it's a really cool one, I love the sound of the tube in general, so this one has a really cool tune, uh, but it's not that heavy, or maybe the emulation circuit built in is not that heavy, so it maybe need to be tried with other emula uh, like cabin simulation, or change the tube actually, we can add like, we can change the tube easily, so basically you remove these four screws, remove this one, and then you can take one of the tubes, if you are not familiar, don't do it for the professional one if you are somehow familiar you can do it by yourself so yeah so maybe changing tube it can add like more uh, aggression in the sound so it can be like suitable for more heavy music a little bit but it's still it sounds fun even when i play denny on seven strings it's still okay but uh, i will not say it's the best option uh, but the sound is really good and um, it's really small and handy so you can do it in, your, in practice you don't need to push in your uh, in your amp at home so you don't use a uh, because power tubes has a uh, like limited working hours so maybe like 3000 something like that so yeah after then you need to change it so if you want to spend like 2000 from this 3000 just practicing in your home so get this guy and like save your tubes and it's it's less cheaper than tubes and this one can stay forever it's like has like tube preamps tube it can stay like until you die and the preamp tube is still working fine so <laughs> it's okay and 
you can use it also if you like the sound you can use it like as one of your pedals you can put it like in the effects loop of your amp in front of your amp you can boost your amp by it and like i found it's really useful piece of tool for musician and like a uh, non-professional musician like me so yeah i think it's it's really nice one so yeah let's go back just one thing i want to review with you it has an EUXM that you can connect like your mp3 player uh, so you can get the sound directly to the output or from the headphones it will not go through the gain uh, but this one the USB in out so so for example if you connect this one to my computer and I connect uh, and I press preamp in that case the signal come from the USB going through the preamp and goes out again from the preamp so it's like in have the distortion of the gain or whatever the settings you put and then goes out again to your computer so this one it's I really like it as I said it has two benefits uh, especially like in amplifier with a lot of uh, options like uh, you have like three volume so you have a three equalizer uh, not band and you have like a, a mid shift for the mid uh, range and you have presence uh, you have reverb and like you have many things so you can basically <coughs> record a clean, a clean signal and then you play it on a loop and then you keep changing everything so you can until you reach the sweet point you want from your signal uh, or like the sweet point of the signal the sound from your preamp so uh, that's why it's really useful because every time you play you want to change something you stop playing you change it and hear it but like if someone else can change it for you while you are playing it will be amazing and imagine if this is yourself like imagine if you have an extra hand to change the settings while you are playing by both hands so that's exactly the reamp is doing you play you record it uh, in a clean tone then you play it again and you can hear immediately the effect of your pe pedal or your amp what you're doing so you can keep changing the colliding and until you reach the point second useful point as i said if you're like two guitarists in the band other one is just work online he can send you the final clean tone reamp it so both of you have the same tones in your recordings and uh, yeah so that was for today this was the Lenny IRT uh, Pulse and uh, I really love it and uh, personally I will keep one for myself so it's up to you guys this is not a promotion for uh, Lenny this is not none like I'd say not promoted vid non promotion video or like uh, it's not paid by Lenny or any other company, just my personal opinion. I love Lenny amplifiers. They have really good stuff. And uh, yeah, this one is a useful tool for practice at home, at least for me. It, I will not go to gig by it, but uh, it's really good for home for me for practice. So I saved uh, my power tubes for studio and recording, but just practicing, I would use this one. So thank you for watching. If you found this video is useful, uh, you can hit like and subscribe to my channel if it's not you can watch some other videos and uh, if you didn't like any of them you can just like leave the channel press dislike and find someone else more useful for than me and yeah there's another video i'll put it in the link in the, the the link in the description below a comparison between this one and the, another uh, preamp uh, hybrid not fully tube for a well-known company called uh, two notes engineering it's a french company the product also made in china this one is a british company the product made in china both of them are pre-amp pedals so uh, i will make a comparison video between both of them so you can compare this one with the other products uh, the other one is hybrid system so if you are in hybrid systems like hybrid preamp because the hybrid system basically tube preamp and transistor power amp but the other one just preamp but still hybrid i don't know how they managed to do it but like i expect the tube just like for how to say like for marketing and advertising otherwise it's complete died and transistor sound for me but yeah i will make a video for both product to compare the sound between both of them so yeah hope you'll enjoy it and uh, see you guys in another video bye